friends, welcome to my art channel. My name is Alina, and today we're gonna paint this very simple landscape um, with the hills uh, filled with wild flowers and a beautiful, bright, sunny sky. To keep it simple, I'm just going to use five colors. It's gonna be black, white, light blue, light yellow, and green. So get your paint ready and let's paint together. This painting, I'm going to use acrylic, but you can also use watercolor with the same concept. So to start off, we're going to dilute some water with light blue and it's going to be the color, uh, the first layer of the sky. We will also dilute some white paint with some water and fill in the space of the sky to give the illusion of white clouds. As you notice, I switched from the liner brush to the round brush because here's the tip. The round brush is way, way easier to do the blending than the liner brush. Continue with using the round brush. I'm going to mix a little bit of green and a little bit of black and we are going to tap the paint into um, the hillside, uh, creating the illusions of the grass growing on the hill. Now I'm going to uh, define my hill uh, with three um, different row of grass. It is important to have um, three different layers of dark, light, dark, light, dark, light um, to define not only the depth of the painting but also to make the painting more beautiful and realistic. Now with a liner brush, I'm going to dip it in black dilute paint and I'm going to create uh, the illusion of a bush um, from a distance. With the liner brush, we're going to uh, use some black mixed with a little bit of green um, and we're going to create the leaves on this bush. So we're going to use a zigzag motion and scrub in um, the paint a little bit here and there. Make sure to leave negative space, meaning um, allowing the, the, the illusion that the sun is shining through those leaves so make sure you don't cover all of the branches with leaves Because this is a grassy hill, so I'm going to ensure that at the very edge of the hill, you can still see a little speck of grass.
simplify the process of creating grass, here I'm going to use a fan brush with hard bristles and it's going to be in the color of green mixed with black. To continue adding more layer to the grass, we're going to continue with the fan brush and this time I'm going to mix green with a little bit of yellow. Here's the tips for making the grass more realistic. Make sure that when you use a fan brush, you use the tap motion, you pull the paint from the bottom to the top, and then you also turn the fan brush vertical motion and tap. That way, the grass is not one dimensional. Some are standing straight, some are leaning, and some are tall, and some are short. To continue adding more layers to the grass and the flowers, um, I will also tap in a little bit of white paint to the tip of the fan brush and add it into um, various location in the painting. Um, because when I went hiking, I also saw those uh, pombus-like grass is blooming uh, intertwined with the yellow flower as well. For the foreground layers, I'm going to tap in some yellow color to give the illusion of the yellow um, wildflower. a liner brush mixing a little bit of white and blue and yellow and I'm gonna go into the painting and placing uh, the illusion of larger bloom in between the bush of grasses brush I'm gonna dip it in yellow and uh, uh, tap it into wherever I want to place the illusion of the yellow wildflowers
for the layer that is closest to the viewer uh, the foreground I'm gonna give the wildflower a little bit more detail because when you look at things that are closer to you you will see it more clearly and the things that are further back is gonna be a little bit more abstract Before I wrap up the painting, I'm going to use a liner brush and then go back into the sky, add a little bit white where I want to highlight uh, th some part of the cloud. Well, that's conclude uh, this painting of a hill with wildflower and grass on a beautiful sunny day. Um, I hope you enjoy uh, painting with me or watching me paint and I hope that you will feel inspired to go and paint a beautiful hillside filled with wildflowers yourself. Now, I use white and, and yellow colors um, for, for the flowers, but for you, you, the imagination is unlimited. You can use purple flower, you can use white flowers, you can use blue flowers, and um, just go out to your local uh, hillside and see what flowers are growing, and then get inspiration from that, and then uh, go paint a beautiful painting yourself. So thank you so much for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Um, if you enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you again on my next painting video. Thank you and bye-bye.